Wild Things, the Youth Art Contest, is it's become a really integral part of our big day called Wild Things, which is a, a day that's held once a year, generally in October, usually around the second weekend. And that day is to celebrate National Wildlife Refuges. It's part of National Wildlife Refuge Week. canoe tours, pontoon boat rides, and of course those were for everybody. We had an archery range set up for kids, target practice with pellet guns, we had a casting pond set up, we have hay rides, people bring animals, we had the Herpetological Society with snakes, we had Millican Farms who are from Lacombe bring several species that are all native and really interesting. They brought a bobcat, a red fox, a skunk, a possum, a gopher tortoise. And then we had Sally Farrell from New Orleans and she came and brought a number of owls. Uh, um, of owls we had Howard McCray who always brings alligators. We had a man with beehives um, educating about beehives. We had people who brought a number of really interesting insects including some tarantulas and Madagascar hissing cockroaches and all kinds of things. <laughs> So the art contest has become a part of that as a way to encourage youth to get engaged in nature through art and kind of mold together arts and conservation. We have a lot of art, um, art, good art teachers and artists in this area and arts are pretty highly valued here so it just kind of worked out naturally to be a really good fit with the art contest. In the last couple of years I've gone from three to five age groups and there's two mediums in each age group. There's drawing and painting, So, but generally the youngest group begins with five and the oldest group ends with 18. So all youth from ages five through 18 are eligible to enter and they can be homeschooled, private, public. They don't have to enter through a classroom, so it's basically open to all youth ages five to 18 and uh, drawing and painting categories. and we generally have, I would say, like an average of around 400 entries a year. The mission of the Fish and Wildlife Service in general is to conserve, enhance, and protect fish, wildlife, and plants and their habitats for the continuing benefit of the American people. So that's our, the overall mission of the service. There are over 565 national wildlife refuges throughout the United States. There's at least one in every state and at least one within an hour of every major city. Here in our complex, we manage eight national wildlife refuges and Louisiana's got 24. So we have quite a few. We have a special task at Fish and Wildlife of managing and protecting four threatened and endangered species. It's a big event and we plan for it for a long time, but it's really rewarding and we love it. And it's kind of our way of inviting the community out, you know, to really have a, a fun time and, and learn and hopefully get more connected to uh, conservation and, and wanting to protect and steward the, the resources.